Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. National Guard Commander, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received Pakistani Foreign Military Corporation Director Major General Majid Jahangir and the accompanying delegation in the presence of National Guard Staff Director Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. The commander affirmed the advanced level of bilateral ties, which resulted in an increase in levels of cooperation and exchange of experiences between the two sides, which is reflected in raising the combat capabilities of the two military institutions. For his part, the director expressed gratitude to the commander for his keenness on developing cooperation between the two military institutions. They also discussed a number of topics of mutual interest. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Fawziya Zainal. The meeting reviewed the ministerial responses to parliamentary questions, which are the answer of the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning on the Ministry's plans and projects regarding infrastructure development in Ma'amir, and the answer of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism on the Ministry's efforts to maintain prices after the 10% VAT increase, the revenues of the tourism sector, and the projects and plans undertaken to attract tourists. The session approved a draft law amending Article 345 of the Commercial Companies Law. The Kingdom of Bahrain participates with the countries of the world in the celebration of Women's Day, which falls on the 8th of March of each year under the slogan Gender-Based Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow. This occasion is an opportunity to shed light on the remarkable achievements made in the advancement of Bahraini women in various fields under the continuous patronage of His Majesty the King and the support of the Council of Ministers headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. This reflects the achievements of Bahraini Bahraini women and their high contributions in the process of renaissance and construction of the Kingdom of Bahrain, reflecting the success of the plans and programs adopted by the Supreme Council for Women, headed by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King. On the occasion of Women's Day, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, affirmed that Bahraini women advancement is thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker congratulated Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King on the occasion and praised the advanced levels reached by Bahraini women in all fields thanks to the directives of Her Royal Highness. She added that Bahraini women made lots of achievements in many fields thanks to the care and support they received. She pointed out the pioneering role of the Supreme Council for Women presented in a number of initiatives that contributed to achieving family stability. On the occasion of International Women's Day, the Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh praised the efforts of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women in supporting Bahraini women and ensuring their equal progress in all fields through her presidency of the Supreme Council for Women. He also hailed her support of initiatives that consolidate the status of Bahraini women at the local, regional and international levels. Al Saleh noted that the Bahraini woman has been able to reach international positions and promote Bahrain in various forums, also noting the remarkable presence of female members of the legislative authority in international parliamentary forums. He expressed pride in the concert, concerned national efforts and endeavors in implementing strategies for the advancement of Bahraini women. Under the patronage of the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Barak bin Dana, the Council organized a ceremony to launch the Climate Innovation Initiative. The initiative aims to stimulate Bahraini energies in the government and private sectors to research and innovate in the field of environmental and climate protection and to create a space for those with creative ideas. Bahrain is one of the first countries in the region to take several steps at the national level to reduce the effects of climate change. At the international level, the Kingdom also implements its international commitments to the United Nations Framework, Convention on Climate Change and the Paris Agreement. National creativity for the climate change is how to encourage the young generations and all stakeholders into the creative part of further solutions of climate change. We know that the increase on CO2 emissions is one of the main issues, and this is what caused the global warming. How can we extract the highest amount of CO2 emissions is the solution that we need an answer for. 
This is why we're here today, to encourage those gen young generation to be involved in solving the issue and saving the planet. The head of the Committee for the Settlement of Stalled Real Estate Development Projects, Judge Saleh Ahmed al qattan confirmed that the committee continued its work during the last period in order to reach an integrated picture on the mechan mechanisms and possible solutions that preserve the rights of individuals who contracted to purchase real estate units. He confirmed that the committee since its establishment has been referred to it by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, 11 real estate development projects, which were listed as tumbled projects. He explained that the committee received these projects and immediately resolved their stumbling blocks in order to quickly reach the optimal way to settle the conditions of these projects and to take the necessary measures to settle them. al qattan pointed out that the committee is continuing its follow-up and working to remove and settle the case of default on real estate development projects in order to preserve the rights of all. He stressed the importance of developers' commitment to the provisions of the real estate sector regulation law, fulfilling their obligations and delivering units on time in accordance with agreed contracts and times. Uh, today uh, we have handed over the keys and uh, the letter for, the ten for those who have purchased the units so they can go and register the, the, their units, their apartments through the land registration. Uh, for the project is called Marina, uh, Marina Breeze. I think we have around 82 apartments. 61 apartments have been handed over today. And the one we have at Al Azza 2 and 3 in Busaitin, out of uh, 82 apartments, around 59 have been handed over. In addition, we had a project called uh, Al Areen Homes. Uh, this is total number of 40, 42 villas. Uh, the issue was only focused on eight villas, and those have been also sold. So today we have, handed, we have taken care of three projects. Let me say with this we have a balance of four projects to handle.